Passive Optical Network, PON by Michael Barrett Overview, Passive Optical Network, PON A Passive Optical Network, PON is a point-to-multipoint, P2MP, fiber to the subscriber, in which an unpowered optical splitter is used to enable a single optical fiber to serve at multiple premises, typically 32 to 128. Because of the way PON is configured it reduces the amount of fiber and equipment the central office uses. A PON is made up of optical line termination OLT at the service provider's central office and a number of optical network units O N use near end users. Downstream signals are broadcast to each premises sharing of fiber. Encryption is used to prevent eavesdropping. Upstream signals are combined using a multiple access protocol, invariably time division multiple access TDMA. The O L T's range the O N use in order to provide time slot assignments for upstream communication. A PON is a shared network, and that the OLT sends a single stream of downstream traffic that is seen by all ONTs. Each ONT only reads the content of those packets that are addressed to it. Most pawns are configured like this. The number of splitters and split levels varies with the vendor and the system. Split ratios are usually 1 to 32 or 1 to 64 but could be higher. Brief description by Michael Barrett. The OLT provides a connection between the pawn and the backbone network. These typically include Internet protocol IP with traffic over gigabit. 10 gigabytes or 100 megabit per second ethernet standard time division multiplexed tdm interfaces at various rates asynchronous transfer mode atm un is with a transfer rate of 155 to 622 megabit per second the olt is connected to the switched network through a standard interface along the distribution side it offers optical access interfaces according to this and other GPON standards, in terms of bitrate, power budget, jitter, etc. The OLT consists of three major parts. Service port interface function. Cross-connect function. Optical distribution network ODN interface. This is an example of the structural architecture of an OLT. One. PON core shell consists of two parts, the ODN interface function and the PON TC function. PON TC function includes framing, media access control, OAM, DBA, and delineation of protocol data unit, PDU, for the cross-connect function, and ONU management. Each PON TC selects one mode of ATM, GEM and DUA. 2. Cross-connect shell the cross-connect shell provides a communication path between the PON, core shell and the service shell. Technologies for linking this path depends on services, internal structure and OLT and other factors. OLT offers cross-connect functionality according to selected modes, such as GEM, ATM or DUA. 3. Service Shell This shell gives translation between the service interfaces and TC frame interface of the PON section. In this slide you can see an example of an functional architect of an ONT. The ONT terminates the PON and presents the native service interfaces to the user. These include Voice, plain old telephone service, POTS, or voice over IP. Data, typically Ethernet or V.35. Video, and door telemetry, TTL, ECL, RS, 530, etc. A great deal of the time, the ONT functions are divided into two sections. The ONU, which cancels out PON and delivers a converged interface, such as XDSL or multi-service Ethernet, toward the subscriber, and network termination equipment NT, which provides a separate, local service interface directly to the user. The general building blocks of GPON ONT are very alike to the general building blocks of the OLT. Since the O N T performs with only a single PON interface or max of two interfaces for security purposes, the cross plugin function can be left out.
Even so, instead of this function, service MUX and DMUX subroutine is set to manage traffic. Each pawn TC selects one mode of ATM, JEM and DUA. A pawn ATM passive optical network. This was the beginning passive optical network standard. It was serialized for generalist and business applications and stemmed from the foundation of ATM. BPON broadband pawn is a typically based on a pawn. It offers support for WDM, dynamic and higher upstream bandwidth allotment and survivability. It also made a standard management interface named the OMCI among the OLT and ONT allowing varied vendor networks. JPON Gigabit PON is an advancement to the BPON standard. It allows for higher rates, improved security, an option between the Layer 2 protocol ATM, JEM, Ethernet, 